We're doing some espresso bar and today we are going to be doing some awesome unboxings. Uh, the first unboxing is going to be from one of my favorite coffee roasters as you guys may know, some Good Brothers coffee. So Good Brothers just released today, I believe, a brand new uh, kind of packaging and also brand new coffee beans. So I can't wait to unbox this and see it for the first time and also show you guys as well. So uh, I just want to give a shout out. So I have it facing me. So if everything's showing backwards, I'm sorry, but my wife isn't here and this is the easiest for me to see uh, comments from you guys on live. So uh, sorry for it being flipped if it is, but just bear with me here. So uh, I just want to say good morning to all of you guys who are tuning in. And also, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support for the channel. It truly, truly means a lot. So uh, again, if you guys are new to the channel, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button as that really helps my channel grow and get a lot more notice so that I can reach more coffee people from around the world and we can build this community and family together. So I'm going to go ahead and start today by unboxing the Good Brothers Coffee and show you guys their new packaging and also uh, their new coffee that he just launched today. So if you're like me and you're clumsy, just be careful with scissors. This isn't, these aren't my best friends, especially I'm on no sleep. So uh, I'm also doing this for all of you guys from around the world that maybe don't get to see my lives later at night. So I decided to go on live uh, in the morning, uh, right now I'm on about 30 hours of no sleep, so bear with me here. <clears throat> All right, so the very first one, so I'll just go ahead and go through the coffee and then I'll tell you guys the new one, which if you guys are familiar with Good Brothers, you'll be able to know as well. So the first one is the India Mysore Nuggets, which is extra bowl, which is, has uh, the tasting notes of cinnamon, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla. So if you guys haven't tried this one, this is also a favorite of mine. Really, really good for espresso in my opinion. Uh, let's see, so here, uh, there's also a card in here if you guys have ordered from uh, Good Brothers. There's a card from Porta Keeper and it's enjoy 10% off at checkout. So definitely uh, would recommend using this and get yourself a Porta Keeper. Uh, it's definitely a great way to organize your coffee setups and just to keep everything organized. I have them. Uh, I may be able to show you guys after this if you guys are new to the channel, but they are absolutely wonderful and it's cleared up so much space for me and uh, my very, very congested areas. So, all right. So the next one is one of my favorites for pour over and this one is the Guatemala I'm going to butcher this name, Aspro Sedua. I, I have no idea. It's almond, toffee, and lemon flavor. So I know it's backwards on your screen, but this is my all-time favorite for pour over. So if you guys have not tried this and you guys enjoy pour over, I would 100% recommend this. If you guys are new to the channel, no, I am not sponsored by Good Brothers. Uh, I just really, really enjoy their coffee, and I like to recommend and be honest with you guys with reviews. Uh, on which coffees to try. All right, so the next one is the Variety Blend, and this is just something new every time. So this is just a uh, mix of uh, light to medium to dark roast coffee. So if you guys uh, like a really good tasting espresso, but you don't like it too bold or too light, I definitely would recommend going with the Variety Blend, which I have found has been uh, pretty smooth with espresso and with milk-based beverages. So uh, that is definitely a good one to try as well. And here is the new beans. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in here. All right. So the new packaging is in white. Uh, these, this is the uh, Burundi Negozi, so I'm going to pronounce that way wrong, but the tasting notes are raspberry, dark cherry, and bergamot, bergamot, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that one either, but this is the new packaging, really, really cool packaging, I really, really enjoy it, 
I really like the white. Definitely let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys like, like the white bags or the black bags. Uh, I think that he is getting more, Brent is getting, which is the owner of Good Brothers, is getting more into uh, specialty coffee, um, more expensive coffee from around the world. So he's going to, I believe, put them in um, bags like this. However, this is, uh, I mean, these, these tasting notes sound absolutely delicious. Like I said, it's raspberry, dark cherry, and um, the other one that I can't pronounce. So definitely, uh, I will be giving this, or I'll dial this in on live uh, sometime this upcoming week or weekend, and I will let you guys know my honest thoughts and opinions on that coffee. All right, so if you guys haven't already, you can use Dylan's Home Espresso Bar for, I believe it's 20% off on in Good Brothers, so definitely make sure to utilize that as well. I do not get uh, paid anything for you guys using that. That code is just simply there to help you guys save money and enjoy really good coffee. All right, so uh, this next package is a package that was sent to me so I wanna say thank you to the folks over at Eight Ounce Coffee. Uh, they're actually located in Canada. Uh, they sent me this to review for you guys. Uh, I did put a link down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. They are huge in selling all kinds of coffee equipment. I mean, anything you could think of, they probably have. So definitely make sure to check out Eight Ounce Coffee. Um, Awesome, awesome company, and I mean, they sent me some cups, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox them and see what they sent. <clears throat> All right, so it comes with a sticker. I like these little nice stickers that uh, every company's starting to do now. Uh, I'm gonna put them on my refrigerator. Anytime I get uh, something else from a company, I like to just support them and put them on the refrigerator. All right, so we are gonna start with the first cup. So they're wrapped pretty well. So if you guys want a nicely wrapped cup, then definitely go with eight ounce. All right. All right, so they sent me an Acme Latte cup. So this thing is, um, it's like a spaced gray almost. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that up close, but it does, they're just like the not neutral. If you guys are familiar with the not neutral cups, these cups are really good to pour latte art in just because they're not like normal cups where it just goes to straight down and then straight over. Uh, they have a nice little kind of U curve into them. So it's just really nice for um, just kind of pouring that, getting that base equal and pouring your uh, latte art. So this is the first cup that they sent. This is the Acme cup and it's almost like a space gray. So um, we're gonna move on to the next cup. This cup is a tad bit bigger than the last one. So if you guys are just joining, welcome. Uh, I just unboxed Good Brothers Coffee and I showed you guys uh, the new packaging and the new beans as well. And I will be dialing those in later. Uh, and right now we're just going and um, we're looking at a company called Eight Ounce Coffee. They are located in Canada. So definitely give them um, a check as well. So uh, they sent the same cup, just bigger. Uh, so pretty big size difference here. I think I would use this one more for like a, um, a macchiato. And then this one's gonna be more for like a um, a bigger latte or a flat white, but this is also from Acme as well, and it also is the Space Gray. So uh, these are my first Acme cups that I've actually ever owned, so I can't wait. Just upon first review um, on feel, um, they're definitely a lot, I would say, heavier than the not neutral cups, especially this one, and they just have a really nice, smooth feel finish to them. So uh, definitely I'm going to be making myself a latte later on and I will let you guys know how it is compared to the not neutral. All right, so the last one that they sent me was the fellow Monty Latte, Arc, uh, latte Cup. 
So this one, I am extremely excited. I've seen this all over Instagram and I really, really wanted to do an unboxing on one of these. And it just shows like different drinks to try on the side here. So it's kind of cool. I mean, Fellow does a great job. Uh, I have the Fellow Stag and the Fellow Stag is absolutely wonderful. And I also have the Brewista. I'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison on that as well in a future video. But both, both kettles are absolutely amazing. But Fellow does make very, very good products. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this cup is way bigger than I thought. Uh, I know they make different sizes, uh, but this one's really cool. This one's actually really deep inside. So I think pouring latte art's gonna be kinda difficult, but you might be able to pour like a heart at the very top of this. But yeah, upon first review, I like how there's like this little um, nice, I don't even know how it kind of finish that is, but if you guys can see, it's like a rose gold almost. But yeah, this is a matte white. Pretty excited to try out all of these. Let me go ahead and put this down here. So here are the cups that were sent to me. So again, thank you to the folks over at 8 Ounce for sending me these. Um, this one is more probably for espresso or uh, a small macchiato. This one I'm going to use more for a cappuccino or a latte. And then this is the Fellow that was sent to me as well. And this one's obviously you can tell the size difference and how deep this one is depth wise as opposed to this. Um, so if you guys are really trying to up your uh, latte art game, I would definitely recommend going with cups more like this only because your tip of your spout's gonna be a lot closer to the surface of the espresso. Uh, as opposed to a cup like this, you're gonna have to pour um, and get that coffee all or the espresso all the way to the tip here before you can start pouring your design. But again, a huge thank you to 8 Ounce for sending me these. Uh, I can't wait to go live and show you guys this. And also, uh, if you guys are just tuning in, this is the, some of the new packaging from Good Brothers. I know it's backwards, um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you guys think about this packaging? Uh, this is their uh, packaging first and this is their new packaging. Uh, I believe he's still gonna have both of them but this one is Burundi uh, Ngozi. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Again tasting notes are raspberry, dark cherry, and perma pergomont. I don't know if you guys know what pergomont is let me know. I'm assuming it's like some kind of fruit just because the other tasting notes are fruits as well. So let's see. Let's see some of the comments here. Drinking from my fellow cup right now and using the Linea Mini. Literally have the same set, uh, just in black. Uh, Brent said hi. Hi, Brent. And then my wife said those are those are great cups, honey. Fun fact. Um, let's see. Almost bought an Acme cup from them last week. Gene, if you want to, you should definitely uh, go on my link and purchase one of these cups from them. Uh, I mean, they were extremely responsive. They responded almost right away when I responded or when I reached out to them. Uh, let's see. Hello, everyone. Hope you are. You can read it correctly. It's not uh, inverted. Oh, okay. So you guys, you guys can read this. It's not. It's not backwards. Cause to me, it looks backwards. Maybe not though. Maybe it's good for you guys. I'm I'm new to YouTube Live, so. When I was on the other app to go live on YouTube and I was on this kind of view, uh, it just kind of flipped everything. Let's see. Uh, Ermagona is a plant that produces a type of citrus fruit, oil from the peel of the fruit, and extract from the fruit juice. Ooh, that sounds delicious. No, not backwards. Awesome. So really glad. That's something that I am really happy to hear that I can finally go live and have it facing me so I can see your guys' comments because before, um, in order for me to make it right side up for you guys, uh, I couldn't see the screen. So definitely I'm very excited that I can finally do that as well. So again, there's 13 of you guys on here. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I will show you guys um, my setup if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, I'll give you guys a little tour. 
because I know a couple people were asking me the other day. So here is my setup that I'm currently uh, working on right now. So I have my Flare Pro 2 that I will be doing a comparison with the Linea Mini and I will also be doing, uh, I'll be telling you which shot of espresso comes out better. Now it might take me a couple tries with the Flare Pro 2, but um, I'm going to definitely try my best. So I'm gonna go ahead and come out to my other setup here. Um, so in the packaging for the Good Brothers, there was a Porta Keeper. And just so if you guys aren't familiar with Porta Keeper, uh, this is a Porta Keeper. Uh, it's really good. It's really nice to just kind of keep your things nice and organized. And it's also kind of like a conversation piece as well. Uh, no, I am not sponsored by them as well. Um, however, I do love their products and it definitely is a nice, neat and organized way to keep everything um, in your coffee setup nice and organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this really quick here. All right, so if you guys are new to the channel, um, I have the Linea Mini here. Uh, this is going to be what I bring on my coffee cart when I finally get it fi kind of restorated and completed. Uh, I have my Atom 75, my Akaya Lunar Scale, my Akaya Pearl. Uh, I have the Block Party, which is um, pretty neat. They actually engraved it to say Dylan's Home Espresso Bar with the YouTube logo. So I thought that was really cool. And then I have the niche here as well. Uh, shout out to Jamin and Mr. Thomas for uh, creating that precision dosing cup for that niche. Nice little white finish as well. So um, here is the other side of my setup. I have the Breville Barista Express uh, along with the Breville Dual Boiler. If you guys are looking to upgrade your setup and you guys are looking to kind of upgrade from the Barista Express, 100% I would recommend going with the Breville Dual Boiler. I have used it now for probably about two months now, three months maybe, maybe even longer. I don't know, I lose track of time, but that thing is a beast. So I actually enjoy frothing milk on the dual boiler more than I do the Linea Mini. Now, people may ask me why, and that's because steaming on the Linea Mini is definitely a um, learning curve because it froths milk in about six to eight seconds. So, uh, and it gets pretty hot. So you can pretty much scold the milk real quick and really easy. And you don't wanna do that because you waste a perfect shot when you scold your milk because everything's just gonna taste awful. So let's see, uh, do you mind posting the link to the Acme Cups, thanks. So yes, um, if you actually go onto the description of this video, you're gonna, it's gonna put you right into the um, eight ounce coffee uh, site. Uh, but I will post uh, individual links as well for you guys uh, on the cups that they uh, sent me. So yes, I will post that for you guys as well. Uh, getting the dual boiler next month. So Gene, um, let me, did you end up going with the block party? I know you were uh, wondering about the wedge and the, um, the other tool from um, St. Anthony. Sorry, I'm on no sleep guys, so I can't really think that well but I know you were on the fence of whether you're gonna buy that or go with, I think the Barisa Hustle, Barisa Hustle, uh, Hustle, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, it's in on the mail, awesome. Uh, you will love, yeah, so uh, I'm with Mr. Thomas. You're gonna absolutely love the dual boiler. Um, so he got the wedge and the force tamper. Yeah, the force tamper, yeah, I've, I don't have one of those, but I have read reviews and I heard they're really, really good. Skip the levy, yeah. So, um, one great thing about the Breville Dual Boiler that I can tell you right off the bat that you're gonna love is uh, the build quality of this thing is amazing. I, I bought this second hand, so I didn't buy this brand new, but this thing is amazing and it's really not too, too loud. I mean, I'll just show you here. Um, so, uh, and it's nice because it does have that display of the actual temperature. So if you guys can hear it. 
So it's not too, too loud at all. It's nice because it still does come with that magnetic tamp. Um, I don't use this to be honest, but it is nice if you guys are beginners and you guys don't have anything to begin with. It's nice that Breville does include uh, the tamper like this. Same with the Brista Express as well. Uh, it is really nice because uh, since this is a dual boiler, it allows you to pull a shot and froth your milk at the same time. Uh, I really think that where they put the water spout was uh, really good as well. So uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. I think that the steam lever is very, very durable as well. Uh, I was really uh, concerned about it at first just because it does seem like it would be a little bit flimsy, but um, I really, really like it and I think it's really, really easy to use as well. Uh, I can actually froth um, better milk with this than both of my machines. So definitely if you guys are new to espresso or you want to up your game, uh, I think the Breville Dual Boiler brand new is $1,500. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a great, great machine, especially if you're looking to upgrade your setup. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are just now tuning in, uh, we just did an unboxing of Brent's from Good Brothers, new coffee, uh, the bag as well. He redesigned the bag. And we also did an unboxing of 8-ounce coffee supply. So they're from Canada, and I've put the link down below. So if you guys are interested in getting any kind of coffee gear or equipment, uh, definitely would recommend going through them. Great customer service, and they will definitely take care of you as well and they got pretty much about anything that you would need. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Josh said, what's up? What's up, Josh? Uh, which grinder do you use with the dual boiler? So Ben, I use, um, I mean, I use all of them. So I'll either use the Atom 75, the Niche or the Breville Smart Grinder. Uh, I would say out of all three of them, I probably use the Niche the most. Um, however, I do enjoy using the Niche more for pour overs and the Atom 75 more for like um, uh, milk based beverages because I do feel like you get more of like the chocolatey notes um, and with the Niche you get more of the kind of sweeter, more citrusy notes. So, and that's a big difference between flat burrs and conical burrs. Uh, I'll also be making a video on that as well. I'll tear both grinders kind of apart and just kind of go over the benefits of both. Um, so are you going to get a Turin? So, uh, yes, that is hopefully soon to come and in the works. Um, those, I mean, it's like, I, th I think it's like $500 for the Turin, but those things are amazing. And right now they're so new, but I mean, they're just flying off the, uh, off the, uh, shelf. So definitely really excited to get my hands on one of those. Have you had issues connecting your Linea Mini to the app? I connected it once, but switched locations and can't connect to it again. Um, I would recommend, let's see, who is that? Uh, I would definitely recommend that um, with the Linea Mini, it is kind of difficult at first, so I was having some issues with the Linea Mini. Uh, make sure that um, your router, what I had to do was I had to unplug my router and plug it back in and it reset, the, uh, it reset the modem, and then I went in and uninstalled the Linea Mini's app, and then I reinstalled it, because I did have some issues. I think it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to finally get it connected. Um, now, the only downside with the app, so if you guys aren't familiar with the Linea Mini and the app, uh, there is an app that controls the Linea Mini, and uh, I guess the only bad thing is, is you have to have the machine on at all times. So if you have, it's really cool because you can set it a certain time that you want this machine to turn on, but it has to be on standby mode. So it turns the boilers off uh, just to keep it internally going. But in my opinion, I don't use the app just because um, I don't like to keep my machine on all day. So I know it's like a cafe um, quality machine, I guess, commercial grade, but I just like to turn it off. I keep it on probably eight hours throughout the day and then I turn it off. So um, that's just based on my opinion. Uh, now I am going to say if you have the Linea Mini, there is a temperature control dial on the side 
uh, but it is really hard to see, especially if you have it up against the wall. I'm fortunate enough to where I don't, but I used to use the app. I've never actually touched that dial because it's really easy digitally just to go through the app and change the temperature. So um, yeah, definitely a good question. Let's see. Um, hi, CY. CY just joined Mr. Thomas. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the, uh, in the comments below. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I know there's 13 of you guys watching. If you guys could smash that thumbs up, it really, really helps my channel grow. Uh, tremendously and I get to reach more people from around the world and we can just keep adding to this coffee community so if you guys have any questions on any of the products that uh, I unboxed today let me know if you guys have any questions just in general let me know um, I'll give you guys another second here to ask a question and then I'm gonna be going on to Instagram live so if you guys haven't followed me over on Instagram live make sure to follow me on Instagram uh, I do a lot more behind the scenes and you guys are able to join my live as well. So if you guys want to make coffee for us or uh, you just want to see just behind the scenes and not a specific kind of video, uh, definitely head over at Dylan, uh, Dylan Licka or Dylan Some Espresso Bar. You can find me on Instagram. Don't forget to sleep. Ah, oh, no, sleep's overrated. Okay, so... It, it's hard. It's difficult. I can't really sleep on Fridays, and this is why. People don't understand unless you work overnights. Uh, I was late driving home. So here's the issue with working overnights. If I get off at 6 o'clock in the morning. So if I come home and sleep, and I sleep till like my normal time, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, and I get around 6 hours a day, uh, I can't sleep at night. So my wife is sleeping or my wife is uh, my wife goes to sleep at around 10 10 30 and on the weekends if I do that I can't sleep until like three in the morning and then I try to wake up when she wakes up for work and get about three hours sleep my whole weekend is just ruined and on the flip side I try to stay up all day long and it doesn't help because around three o'clock I'm just I'm about dying because I can't keep my eyes open uh, it, it's miserable it's it's bad but, you know, that's what you got to do. It, that's, it, it uh, pays the bills. Too tired to roast coffee tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. Yes, I would definitely love to see you roast some more coffee. I want that M10 so bad. Um, but I can't afford it right now, unfortunately. And my wife would probably um, make me sleep outside if I bought it. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I work at a pharmaceutical company and we inspect uh, plasma bottles or vials as they go by, so pretty fun sometimes. How can you stay up so long? Um, well, I have a lot of caffeine, and uh, I try to stay moving, so I try to keep all my chores for Friday so I can do all my cleaning, and then I go straight to the gym, and then I try to find something else. But the moment I sit down or lay down, I'm done. It's, it's over. It's over with. There is no trying to stay up after that. All right, so uh, sorry for this video being so long. We're at like 28 minutes, but uh, if you guys have questions, uh, you, this is the reason why I go live. Uh, I am going to be posting another YouTube video, and it's going to be the uh, $700 Barista Express and the $7,000 Linea Mini with the upgraded handles that I purchased. So uh, that's going to be a fun video. I have worked hard on that video and I can't wait to put that video out for you guys. Uh, and this is more for uh, people who are new to Espresso and also people who are have been in the game for a long time that have desired having a Linea Mini. I'm just going to kind of go through why I think the, Bre or the Breville's better in some cases, and I'm gonna tell you why the Linea Mini is better in some cases as well. So obviously budget is gonna be huge, 700, 7,000. Yeah, it's, it's a big difference. Now, there is a difference in taste and stuff like that, but you're gonna have to watch the video in order to get that full uh, review. So it's not really a comparison. The Linea Mini just blows the Brisa Express out of the water, um, but there is, really good points that I do make in the video that is worth giving it a watch. So definitely watch out for uh, that video.
All right, so if there is no more questions, I will be going on to Instagram Live. So if you guys have any questions and you guys weren't able to ask them on here, then you guys can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Dylan Licka and we will, we will go on live there and I'll answer all your questions and you can actually join my live as well. So I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day or start to your morning. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe and I hope to see you guys uh, very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you guys could smash that like button, it really, really helps my channel. Um, I mean, you can't help me more than pressing that thumbs up button. So thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys later.